Unusual? Yes. Expensive? No. This all came up with the controversial Sideral. A diver which is not a diver. Some people are complaining about the price of it, but some are very excited about it. So it's important to understand the value of this watch before we say yes or no to the new Sideral. I have the entire collection on my table thanks to Albini Prasa, time dedicated pioneers, my friends and official Tissot retailers. I will leave the link to their website in the description. Now, the first interesting point about this model is definitely its past. This new model is pretty much a correct reissue of the Tissot Sideral which was launched in 1971. A watch with a lot of focal points, different accents and an odd greenish tan color. And besides the unusual graphic design of the dial proposed, the body of the watch is made from fiberglass. We can read the specific pattern of the glass fiber which gave me nightmares, as this is a highly dangerous material to work with. And knowing from my Corvette C3 experience and how hard it is to work with fiberglass, when I heard about this model I was totally surprised. I know that Tissot is known for doing experiments with new materials from wood to marble, but when I realized for what purpose this watch was built, it made all the sense in the world. And this leads to the following point. Seeing all the unusual ways to capture the time from the bezel against the dial and the hands, this was actually a dedicated regatta timer watch, so a watch dedicated to time the boat racing. And from the materials perspective, it made all the sense. Fiberglass boat, fiberglass watch, lightweight and durable. Now, I am not going to give you the same useless and boring explanation about regatta racing and how the boats are unable to stand still in the water at the start. But what is important to know for us, the desk diver enthusiasts, this is a waterproof tool or a diver watch which offers basically two ways to measure the acting timer. Once through the bezel where it can be positioned wherever the minute hand is, the insert offers two times the increment of the five minutes countdown but also by moving the minute hand to the 12 o'clock position, where we can find as well two colored 5 minute increments which highlights better the countdown position. So this is a 3 hands watch, not a chronograph, but with your help it can become one by using the predefined yachting features. Or you can simply use it and enjoy it as a diver, ignoring all the dedicated features, because this watch has as well the loom pip against the hands with the same minute counting on the bezel. And layout-wise, we have to salute the old Tissot logo out of the collection of heritage logos. And I personally love this T logo more than the classic handwritten one or the actual one. Now, the loom of the watch offers quite a surprising experience. I've never expected to see so many loomed accents in different colors, which I find it pretty unusual, because I've never seen blue, yellow or red loom on a watch. So I can call it a disco watch for sure. Now, the bezel, I think, is ceramic. I was pretty sure that the bezel insert is made from aluminium, but on the macro level, we can spot the engravings on the surface, which are filled with Swiss Superluminova. 100% this is not aluminium in PVD because such a thin insert cannot sustain engravings. And as loom architecture, we can spot the importance and the focus put in the legibility of the bezel against the yellow luminous hands. The cardinal markers are put in the second position as intensity alongside the loomed track or the acting increments, so a clear room prioritization based on functions. The bezel against the hands or the acting timer 5 minutes increments against the loomed minute hand. Now, a thing that not so many people will know is the fact that the blue version, besides having those blue snowflakes in the carbon case, has the most potent loom on the dial. The yellow version doesn't have the inner track loomed and the grey track inside of the dial is not that potent as the pigment proposed for the blue one. Now for the next point, I don't want to deep dive too much in what is expensive or inexpensive nowadays because it's purely subjective. But one thing I want to make clear, the Tissot Sideral is not expensive. I've been scanning on social media and quite a lot of people complained about the price. However, what you have to understand is the fact that this watch is made from forged carbon. And carbon, my friends, is not cheap. We can look in the market after carbon watches and we will notice that they are way more expensive than steel or titanium. A Richard Mill is over $300,000. Okay, I went too far. But my Doxa Sub 300 in carbon costs 3,750 euros on retail, which is 40% more expensive than the stainless steel model. 
The process of making durable and good looking shape cases from layers of carbon which is molded under pressure is meticulous and expensive. And difference wise we can spot that only the blue version has blue accents in the marble carbon. So the Tissot Sideral knowing that it is made from a forged carbon case for 1000 euros trust me it's not expensive. Another unusual element must be the rubber strap. The strap makes this tool to make like a dedicated watch for recreational sports. It feels different and understanding the yachting context, it makes more sense. The rubber looks like it's stolen from a smartwatch. But what is interesting, this innovative concept of the strap is dated since 1971, launched and purposed for the vintage fiberglass Sideral. The construction of the strap is premium with vented holes to help the hand to dry faster, serving also for adjustment purposes. So it's a plus to have such a strap on the Sideral. From the strapping point of view it might not be, because you have to put quite a lot of pressure on the wrist when you have to press that knob against the wrist to fit it into the rubber hole. But the positive part is that once strapped it feels comfortable and way safer than a regular strap because has two closing points and if one of them is torn from its place the other point can still keep the watch safe. I guess a tailored strap which helps in the acting environment. Moving into specifics, the case has a beautiful tonneau shape with sculpted lugs, made to fit the rubber strap underneath the case. The forged carbon core sits between two metallic rings, the case back ring and the upper ring, which I believe it was purposed to connect safely the case to the inner bezel system. This helps also as a decorative element, which helps the case to communicate with the metallic crown. I personally appreciate the reissue accuracy, but I would have preferred to see a case without the metallic ring, but also with a carbon crown, or at least PVD. As wearability the watch is not crazy lightweight, it sits somewhere at the range of 90 grams. Still not crazy for a carbon case, but once strapped properly on the wrist, the watch sits very good. The strap really helps the tonneau volume to lay down on the wrist and to create a unitary pleasing view. The case has 41 mm in diameter, 46.5 mm as lug to lug and 14 mm in height, but the watch wears very good due to the tonneau design with buried lugs. This is a robust design with solid specs in my opinion, screw down crown, 300 meters for resistance, inside having the Powermatic 8111 with 80 hours power reserve. And as key takeaways, the Sideral is a correct reissue of the iconic 70s model. But more than that, the brand came up with exciting upgrades like the carbon case, which is amazing for the price point. The loom is exciting as well, the amazing combo of colors is impressive and unseen as well as the strap system. I personally think we should be thankful that there is a mass brand able to offer a carbon case at this quality level for 1000 euros. And these are the perfect attributes for a solid brave beater on the channel. So the Tissot Sideral will qualify as a brave beater with the number 46 in the Hall of Fame alongside iconic solid divers with heritage behind. So that's it, we will close the episode with the usual question. What do you think about the new Tissot Sideral? Is it still too expensive or exciting? Please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching and until next time, be brave, Bob. Stay safe.